Today, we are counting down the 10 smartest Fortnite players. Thanks for watching. Alright, so obviously, I'm just joking. Being smart, creative, and unique is a few of the characteristics a very limited amount of players seem to have, but a few that does heavily succeed competitively. So today, we are counting down what I consider to be the 10 smartest players. And for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do active players only. So let's get into this top 10. Starting off our list as the 10th smartest player in the world, we have Seti. Seti, in comparison to a lot of competitive players, understands how to play mid-game at a ridiculously high level. So high, as a matter of fact, that he probably is the best in the world at mid-game IGLing. Seti's mid-game IGLing abilities shined through in the trio's FNCS Grand Finals he won alongside Kami and Teek. Don't get me wrong, Seti is also one of the best end-game IGLs, and undoubtedly, one of the smartest. However, it's his early game that heavily lacks. Not only isn't his strategic ability the best in the early game, but we can all agree on the fact that Seti isn't the best fighter to touch Fortnite. But that's besides the point of this video. Seti, similar to all nine other players on this list, is a one in a million player. They have all achieved remarkable achievements, and they all have an understanding of the game that is absolutely exceptional. Talking about exceptional, in ninth place we have Chapix, who is exceptionally good at raging and letting his teammates know if they make a mistake. Chapix is one of the most vocal players out there, for good or for bad. However, that doesn't take away from the fact that Chapix is one of the best endgame IGLs to ever touch the game. And specifically, I'm talking about taking, maintaining, and winning from the high ground. Chapix is one of those players that really could play with anyone and do good. Well, anyone other than Seti. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk more about that, but if you want to learn how to take, maintain, and win from high ground, then I strongly recommend watching Chapix, as he's definitely a top 3 height player in the world. In 8th place, I have Andelex, and the respect I have for this man. Andelex, if you guys don't know, is someone who's been in the scene forever and grinded his heart out. Andelex in 2021 really impressed me in the way he played Storm Surge. Andelex is the second most unorthodox player on this list, and watching him play really makes you think how he does it. His playstyle looks effortless, but in reality, it's so well thought out and structured. Everything is planned out from the early game all the way to the end game. Andelex was one of the first players to ever fully understand how to master Storm Surge, a mechanic that honestly is really, really hard in top tier lobbies. And for that, as well as his structure as a player, he is the 8th smartest player in Fortnite in my very own eyes. Jamper comes next, and I'm sick and tired of him not being in the talks of one of the greatest players. Jamper really shines through as a player and an IGL when it really, really matters. And this is where most other players make mistakes, die to surge, and end up being scuffed. Jamper, on the other hand, seems to have a laser-sharp focus and plays a very perfect strategic and structured game. Jamper seems to have all the fundamentals of Fortnite sorted to a very high level. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a full 30 minute video on how to master the fundamentals of Fortnite because it's something I've been thinking about doing. Arkham is by far my favorite player and also one of the smartest in the game. When watching Arkham and Epic Whale play, they really don't do anything that's like over the top unique or different from everyone else, but everything they do is very clean and incredibly consistent. Like, these boys don't make any mistakes, it seems. Arkham and Epic are also very good height players. But then again, they play on NA West, a far easier region than EU or even NA East. So maybe, just maybe, they would have struggled a bit more on EU. All I know is I can't wait for Lance to be back, as I really want to see international competition once again. In fifth place, and to no surprise to anyone, we have Scented. Scented was the undisputed king of trios in 2021 in the NA East region, as he got second place in Grands, four times in a row. 
What makes Scented such a smart player is two main things. Firstly, his amazing ability to remember everything that has happened in the game he's in. If he kills a dude in the first zone, and then 18 minutes later in the sixth zone or the first moving zone, if that zone pulls over where he killed that dude in the first zone, then Scented could say there might be spear mats in this moving zone. How he remembers so well is something I'll never understand, but it's a unique trait that I for sure wish I had. Scented is also very quick. On zone swaps from first to second moving, if Scented sees that low ground is free, he's down on that low ground in milliseconds. And I mean milliseconds. Scented is fast when he sees an opportunity he knows he has to take. And this is also probably some of the reason behind all of his success. Moving on to fourth place, I had to include Taysen in this one. The thing about Taysen is that he is, in some games, a perfect player. Everything from looting to rotating to eliminating opponents, Taysen knows how to play a perfect game like no other player. So much so that he almost seems like a robot in the way he does it. Taysen is structured, smart, and strategic in the way he plays. And you can for sure learn a lot by watching him. Taysen is, in my opinion, the best overall player in the world. But for right now, there are a few that I would consider smarter than even him. Before we get to the top three, here are three very honorable mentions. Aqua, Macwood, and Bucky's dad. Taking home third is none other than Buga. Buga recently took home the duo FNCS win in NA East, and I honestly don't think people understand how smart and how good of a tarper Buga actually is. As well as being arguably the best tarper in the entire world, Buga has some of the best comms out there. He has a very clear form of communicating, and there is never any hesitation with Buga. He plays Storm Surge well and gets incredible positions. Just like with Andelix, Buga makes his games seem effortless, when in reality, they are so so smartly played out. Giving him third in this video was honestly a no-brainer. The second smartest player in Fortnite is Pink, and I know a lot of you might have put someone else here. But let me tell you why Pink is the second smartest player in the game. Pink is one of the few players that manages to think outside of the box and think about new and unique strategies to implement into his game. And he successfully does it. Pink is also a master of high ground and never lets high ground opportunities go. Which again emphasizes the point of him being, well, a smart player. In addition, he works incredibly hard to become the best. So you can't do anything but respect and cheer for the guy. It's gonna be very fun to keep track of him and Anas in the coming duo FNCSs. My prediction is that they win the third one. And the smartest player in Fortnite, overtaking everyone else in the game by a massive margin, is Queasy. Queasy is the smartest Fortnite player out of any, in my eyes also in the discussion for the best player in the world. Queasy plays the most unorthodox game of a Fortnite I have ever seen, and in order to play the way he does, you have to play a perfect game. And Queasy plays like this 12 out of 12 games in Grand Finals. He follows first zone until it closes, and then practically does the same thing with the second zone. And this might sound easy in a cash cup, or FNCS opens, or whatever, but doing this in grands is insanity. And being able to win it using this unorthodox strategy pretty much no one else uses is just outright inhumanly impressive. Queasy honestly plays in such a way that I don't even think recommending to VOD review him is a good idea. Because it's just too hard of a way to play the game. Well, if you manage to understand how he plays and manage to implement it into your own game, you will be successful. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you all so much for watching this list. Let me know your top three in the comments below. And with that said, I'll see you all tomorrow. My name is Marion TM. Stay safe and take care.